Okay, so the problem is $400 and he spends $229. So the first model is the compare model. So we're going to compare 400, so I have four flats, one, two, three, 400. And we're gonna compare it to 229. So we have 100, 200, 210, 220, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 229 and 400. So to compare them, we can lay them on top, and we can lay the flats on top of one another or next to one another. Either one works. I will do next to it, and then we'll compare our longs and our bits, our skinnies and our bits to each other. So we have this, and I'll try and line them up. Line them up. And we see how many more do we need? We have this one there equal to each other. We took our 200 from our 229 and we compared it to the 200 from 400. But here we only have 29 and we need to get up to 200. So if we lay these on top of each other, we lay our longs and our bits on top to see how many more we need. They keep falling. Then we know to make a 10, we're going to need at least one more. So we have to have one more. So I'll move these off to the side so we know we're going to have our one more. And these three are filled in. They're off to the side there. And then we need to. How many more tens is it going to take? So if we had 30, we're going to add them on. So it's going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that takes 7 10 sticks. So that's 71. And then we still have one left over. So how many more would it take to get there? It would take one flat. So it would take us 170. One. So 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 1. So 171. So that is the compare model. For the separate model, we start with 400. We have 400 here. And what we need to do is we need to separate or take out. So I will take out. 229. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to break these hundreds down into tens. So what we'll do is I'll put 10 tens on here. And I need a few more. So there's our 10 tens. So that equals 100. So we can go ahead and exchange that. So now we have 10 tens and we're going to take the flat away in exchange for those 10 tens. But that won't get us 229. So we need to keep going and keep breaking down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to break down the second flat. And we're going to put our 10 sticks on it to break this 100 down into tens. And the same thing, we're going to exchange that. We have our one flat for our 10 tens. And so that gives us still 400, but we're able to take away 200 right there. And then we have to do it with one more. So let's go ahead and take away our 200. So we take away 200, okay? And now we have to take away 29. So we're going to take away our 20 because we have our 20 sticks. So we take away 20 and they go over here. And now we have to take away nine from what's left. Well, I will have to break down one of these into one. So I'll take this one here, this 10 stick, and I will turn it into 10 ones. Let's see, two more. And that now we're going to take this away. We have 10 ones in its place, and then we take away nine of those and separate them out. So now 
we have broken down our 400, separated out 229. We're going to see how many we have left here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71. 171. All right. The final algorithm or method is to do the problem along with the standard algorithm on paper. So we begin by writing the problem. We write 400. And we're going to subtract 229. So we write them with the place values lined up. So the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. And then what we do is we look right here. And we go 0 minus 9. Well, 0 minus 9 is not possible. So we look at this and we hop over the neighbor. And it's 0 minus 2. This is also not possible. So we have to hop over one more time. Take away from this place. Take that. Make it 300. Hop over here. And give those 10 tens. To the tens place and then we still have to look over here we still have the zero minus nine is not possible so we have to cross out the zero and borrow from our tens so we cross out the ten and make it a nine and we turn the zero into a ten because we just gave it ten ones so now we have ten minus nine which is one we have nine minus two which is seven and we have three minus two which is one so the answer is one hundred and seventy one dollars $171. That unit is very important.